hi guys okay this video is gonna be an extra large stiletto nail okay it's been a while I uh, recorded this video some some of you know me and you would recognize my <laughs> um, set it's a little old my nail set but I decided to upload it today I was uh, wondering if I do it in English or in Spanish but it's been a while I don't upload it, nothing in English so here we are and it's a good technique that's how I extend the nail forms of course you can make it longer even but I just went one more size if you really like to work with extra large nails well I would say just go and buy the extra large forms because this is a waste this way but you can definitely do it this way okay and also you can see I'm not using my hand but my practice finger so here we go I'm gonna use there some of my mixes well most of them are my mixes exception of the blue one which is um, from one of the girls here in the swaps she gave them to me and the gold one, well, it's it's mine, but it's not a mix. I just use gold pigment with clear, so it's not actually a mix per se with glitters and stuff. And that's purely pink. It's an awesome opaque uh, pink, perfect for the nail bed. And what else, girls? I guess the last time I'm going to tell you guys the story, the last time I wore um, extra large nails, I was going to this seminar and I wanted to show off my nails, you know, so I was wearing these long stiletto nails. And uh, when I was getting my luggage out of, you know, in the airport, my you don't even want to know what happened when I tried to lift that well you imagine what happened it was horrible 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 very painful I was able to fix it because it didn't got my nail bed that bad but it did got my nail bed so my natural nail bed so be careful build them strong remember every time when you the longer that you do it the stronger that you gotta build them when you see those girls that their nails look really natural and stuff, you're normally going to see girls that have short nails. Long nails, they get thicker. Now, I don't build thick nails. I don't like them. And I'm going to try my best to do them really thin, but not on the middle section of the nail, which is right there in the middle where the nail tip and the nail bed meet. That's where you want to build them strong. In Spanish, we call it uh, area de tensión or tension area, but that's where all the force goes. That's where all the pressure goes. That's why the nails need to have that little belly on top. They need to be thick right there. And if you know the trick really good, people is not even going to be able to tell, you know, that you build them strong. So you don't have to build like this thick nail, but you can there's ways that you can do it but the longer the stronger or you're gonna lose your finger there is dangerous so yeah ever since that day I don't wear stilettos that long because I'm not used to them and I hit them everywhere I'm not used to long long nails and those were like two inches and that was for me really bad <laughs> Okay, the red color there is a scarlet. That's one of my mixes. And the gold one is the one that I told you also with uh, Mika pigment. Most of my mixes are made with Mika pigment. And they're very inexpensive and coastal, coastal essence or coastal scents. Sorry. That's the website. A lot of you know it. And they're very inexpensive and they really, you really don't use that much. Sorry guys, my cat is bothering me here. So they're really inexpensive, they're really strong, and you make with one little baggie, you can make a lot of mix. And they don't affect the um, quality of the acrylic, as long as you're using good acrylic, of course, quality. 
and right there if you guys notice before I encapsulate it I give it the pinch okay I know that you guys probably are gonna be like well there's no C curve because you can't see it it's an stiletto nail but there is you need that strength right there in between you wanna give it a pinch right before it dries it's just it's not really a pinch I, I it looks like a pinch but it's only pressure you're just giving pressure and building strength on on that nail trust me I I have no way to prove you that it works but it works it works for me I I seen it that the they are more weak when I don't do it right there I have a lot of excess as you can see and I show it but you don't want to have a lot of excess like me because that's how you cut people so that's something that you always gotta work with those uh, sculptured nails it's easier to waste more material when you don't have practice you know and be very careful not to be going way down to the skin so you don't cut nobody for the 3D I'm using three different colors as you can see red, yellow and blue but it, may, it gives it a really nice um, rainbow rainbowy color and I'm building two leaves and that's all very simple I get out of the camera side here in a minute but the second one is better and what I think I was doing here I I noticed now that I sit down and watch the video I think I was using a lot of acetone in that 3D mix because I noticed that they were setting up really fast and I was having a hard time to give it the texture so I had to use the cuticle pusher and still I was having a hard time so remember it's 50-50 and uh, not always necessary is going to be that 50-50 sometimes you gotta adjust just listen to your head if it's too hard if it's drying up too much put a little bit more of monomer if it's drying up too fast um, too slow I'm sorry and just add a, a little bit of um, acetone and there they are and all I did after that I added a little bit of uh, that gold mix just to give it you know a shine and then that little thingy that I built there I don't know what it is but it's something it's like a branch or something I don't know I love the the way the colors uh, work together I, I really did like it a lot I still have it there as for people to see it and at the end I'm gonna sh have two pictures one with and one without the 3D so it's the same and I hope you guys like it a lot <laughs> that's uh, the top coat, the UV top coat that I buy on nailite.com and let me tell you guys it's very inexpensive and it has nothing nothing to ask to other ones of good quality I mean I'll be honest with you guys if it was and it's nice that one is very nice uh, it used to be not that good now they make it better quality I love it I don't have any but I love it okay guys that's it